Aisha is weak. W A C weak. And Aisha's all like in my face and says, You stole my man, you bitch. And I'm like, I ain't no bitch. And Belisha's all like, You're a hoe. And I'm like, No, I ain't. Although you are. So I says, Listen up, bitches. One of you has got a fat ass, and the other one is a hoe whose best friend has got a fat ass. <laughs> Days gay. Oh, got to go at school. Is your ladies look forward to Valentine's Day? Oh, is it Valentine's Day today? I love Valentine's Day! Yeah, I like the bit when everyone gets drunk and your dad fights with policemen. That's Christmas Day! Oh, yeah. I like the bit when they nail that bitch to the cross. That's Good Friday. And it's not Halloween either, so you can take that mask off. Ha-ha, <laughs> Latrina. Very funny. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Yes, uh, I, I know, but I really must protest, Headmaster. It's... You should be happy with getting cable for this price. Uh, but I don't... Will you stop being so selfish? I'm not being selfish. Yes, you are. My car's falling in the hole. My husband's trapped inside it. Uh, Carol? Uh, anyone? Two words. Red hot Dutch. Oh, OK, it's four words, but uh, you take Iqbal's point. Hmm. <laughs> Why is you two share Valentine's letterbox in it? Hindus like to share. Hmm. But how do you stop it getting too full? It hasn't been a problem. Well, I hate Valentine's Day. It always ends in depression, violence or pregnancy. Depending on whether you're me, you or Latrina. It's my favourite day of the year. It's a meaningless marketing event created by greeting card companies to boost sales figures. And all the ugly kids hate it. Hmm. Hmm. I would imagine. Headmaster, this hole is dangerous. Whenever Jesus sees a hole, he fills it. Oh, like my cousin Mehmet. Oh, come on, Gavin, it's not dangerous. There's a six-foot sign saying danger, big hole. So long as the kids can read, we'll be fine. Well, maybe the wording is ambiguous. Bloody typical. The only kid in the old school who can't read and she has to use this entrance. So you're saying there is discrimination against uglies? How else do you explain the stop and search policy? All right, sunshine, turn out your pockets. Let's go. Why don't you stop them? <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. Like there's such a thing as an attractive criminal. <laughs> you know what would be really clever? How would I know that? If we just opted out of this whole Valentine's thing. <gasps> you just can't do that! Valentine's Day is the most important day of the year! If you judge people on how attractive they are. How else is you do it? <laughs> uh, oh! Oh! Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I've got an idea. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you are worried about Valentine's cards. There's a no stigma attached to not receiving any. That is no stigma. OK. However, if you don't get any, you will be sent to a special class of break time for your own protection. I just cannot imagine anything worse than being ugly. Well, what about starving children in Africa? Hmm. Nope. Unless they're starving and ugly. Please, God, let me get a Valentine's card. And it better not be from t or no Lily. Oh, baby! Uh, let me have one of Davis. Davis is fine, God. <laughs> it could happen. Yeah, if terrorists blew up the world and you were the only two people left alive, and you wore a mask, and Davis was blind. Yes, it could happen. No way. Davis has never sent anyone a Valentine's card, not even Latrina. He's too cool. Yeah, he doesn't even talk to girls. He's the least gay boy ever. We'll check your boxes at lunchtime, and anyone without any cards will take their stuff and go to room 12B. I'll save you some seats. 
the flash, the sharks. Good. Yes. Ich war likes. Oh, Phil. Ah, Mr. Bib. I've seen the future, and it is porn, sharks, and Nazis. Excellent. That rather plays to my strengths. What have we got today? Just the assembly, the staff meeting, and the injured children in the pit. Okay, to work. Council assembly, council staff meeting, fix children in pit, and I'm done. <laughs> the children in the pit may be a tricky problem. You see, the mother of one of them also has cable, and it's given her an idea. <gasps> she plans to unleash a shark attack on Iqbal. No. But she sits through over 4,000 personal injury claim adverts a day. So? She is attempting to sue the school for one million pounds. <gasps> Bloody shit, Kirk! Quite. Still, good news about the sharks, isn't it? Ugly class. I'm not going to ugly class. Yes, you are. We taped over your box. <gasps> no! Someone should have taped over her box a long time ago. Schools are increasingly liable for injuries suffered by their pupils. We're still paying out on the children we lost last year. Sure. Iqbal is remember. Man in funny costume has come to take rats away by playing flute. But then when checkers bounce, he's come back, play flute again, and take all children's away. We'll have to be more careful this time. Good morning. My name is Kevin Mountbatten. I can see you thinking ambulance chaser straight away, but let me tell you, a good lawyer doesn't need to chase ambulances, although I do, definitely. If one went past now, I would chase it. No. I am representing my clients, Kylie Rice Davis and Kylie Rice Davis Senior, and I promise you I will reduce this school to rubble in the pursuit of justice, so I suggest you get yourself a lawyer. And if you choose me, I promise you I will reduce this woman and her daughter to rubble in the pursuit of justice. Come, come, Mrs Rice Davis. Surely you understand this was just an accident. I don't understand nothing. I see. Playing hardball, are we? I don't understand nothing. I see. Playing idiot ball, are we? Headmaster, it's time to wake up and smell the mess you've made. In terms of frivolous compensation claims, Kylie's injury is very serious. Ow. Yeah, we'll see you in court. Listen, we's all friends, is it? This won't end never get to court. There was a big sign. And you'll never get a million pounds. Little girl's fingers are two a penny if you go to the right doctors. Oh, we're not suing for injuries. You see, Kylie couldn't read the sign, and it was your job to teach her. You must understand, madam, that this could ruin the school. I don't understand nothing. <laughs> OK, now the first thing to remember is you're not here because you're ugly. You're here because you're ugly and it's Valentine's Day. She don't look ugly to me. <laughs> She might be ugly on the inside. What, like your house? You mustn't feel bad about being ugly. Ugly people can lead full and satisfying lives too. <laughs> You're funny. Mm. Ah. Ah. I is not really ugly. I was just here because of a mix-up. Normally I don't talk to ugly people. Can I say ugly? I prefer facially challenged. You is okay. In fact, you is just like a normal person. Thank you. Apart from your teeth. <laughs> well, I'm glad we didn't get any cards. Valentine's Day is a meaningless marketing event. It's time we stood up and rejected the superficial values of beauty and attractiveness that pervade our morally bankrupt society. That was very good for a minger. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh, oh. They're coming for us! 
Oh, what? Stupid. The stupid kids, you know, the ones who can't read. That's ridiculous, Martin. They saying it's our fault they can't speak properly. Oh, they're coming, I can hear them. Good afternoon. As you may have noticed, the school is being sued by one of its illiterate children. We've fouled our own glass coffee table and now we must wipe it clean. Reading is a mental function. How are we supposed to affect that? Shrink ourselves down so we can be injected into their brains like Raquel Welsh in Fantastic Voyage? We're teachers, not film stars. Oh, yeah. Injecting a teacher into someone's brain, is it? Muggins here, I bet. Put old Phillips in a syringe. On your bike. I'll do it. <laughs> I'm not here to apportion blame. I'm here to decide which of you we can put up in court. Now, I need someone resilient, emotionally secure and able to take the blame. <laughs> Ah, a scapegoat. Thank you, Martin. See you later. I don't think so. Why not? You won't want to hang with uglies once you're on the outside again. That is not true. I just learned that uglies is just the same as me. Just like Peter denied Jesus, you'll deny me three times before the cock crows. And so the timeless human drama unfolds. <laughs> you said cock. <laughs> well done, Nutella. This is the worst Valentine's Day ever. Don't you see, Kish? It's the best Valentine's Day. No one got depressed. No one got violent. No one got pregnant, although the night is young. And we're still friends because no one got jealous. We can forget all about it for another year. <laughs> How does it feel to be done making his speeches in the whole school? I'm gonna kill him. It's a non-violent protest, Kisha. Like Gandhi. That stupid deer. Tell us in your own words, Kylie, just how stupid are you? I don't understand the question. <gasps> I don't think he's going too good. <coughs> Do you mind? This is the defendant's bench. Oh, it's all right. This Mehmet, my cousin, he is our lawyer. Good God. Sorry, I'm late. He's signing on, day. Let me put the question another way. Can you tell what this is? Let the record show that the prosecution is showing the plaintiff a picture of a hole in the ground. Is it any different to this? Let the record show that the prosecution is showing the plaintiff a picture of her own ass. Well, Kylie, can you spot the difference? No. <gasps> Has no one ever taught you this? No. <gasps> we covered it in Module 4. Give out a Valentine's card. You don't know it's a Valentine's card. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the fools in this school think they're cool, but I don't care what they say, see, because you're the lady that drives me crazy. Oh. It probably just an early Abby Easter card. Davis really into that resurrection shit. P.S. Please, will you be my Valentine, babe? All right, but you don't mean it. And I really, really mean it. Fuck it. Yes! In your face, bitch. Oh, <laughs> this is the best Valentine's Day I ever had. <laughs> I thought it was a meaningless marketing event. Well, it's the best meaningless marketing event I've ever had. What do you mean, you've ever had? Well, there's no name, but I think it's pretty obvious who it's for, isn't it? Why are you talking to us? I want to. You know we're ugly. I know. I was ugly too. For a while. Don't talk to her. She's not really ugly. I want to hang out with you. She's just a tourist. Don't let her in. Please, give me one more chance to ming. No. I talked to you once, didn't I? Flipping Christ. What do you want? Nothing from you. Except maybe... Mm. Nope. Then nothing. I now call Martin Jackson to the witness box. <laughs> <laughs> you are Martin Jackson, teacher of mathematics? OK, stop it, stop it! I did it! I failed my students! I'm not a good teacher! I haven't even got a teaching qualification! 
I've got an NVQ in plumbing technology. I'm sorry, Headmaster. I'll forgive you. When can you look at my sink? Your witness. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Ow! What's the matter with you? <laughs> hey! What's the matter? <laughs> Hey! 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 Oh, it's all right. It's all right. You win this. Hmm. I'm confused. If beautiful people are the best, why is this ugly boy making me feel bad? You're assuming there's a difference between ugly people and beautiful people. I shouldn't assume that. No, you should know it. Beautiful people always get served first, get invited to more parties, get the best jobs. Yes, we do. <sighs> but what about uglies? Don't they deserve to be treated the same? Now oh, get over yourself. Let the uglies deal with it. Soon Valentine's Day will be over and they can forget about it. Until next year. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, so nice to have a girly chat now and then. Finding my lessons were as much fun as this. Yeah, I hate lessons. <laughs> OK, heads or tails. Whoever loses asks Davis whose card it is. I think it's a trick and it will land on its side. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, man, that girl is talking to you. What's up, Pocahontas? I just wanted to say that I really like the Valentine's card. Oh, you read it, did you? <laughs> anyway, I've got this rope to climb. As soon as that geezer gets down... Oh, of course. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to decool your space. <laughs> I'm actually inside a human brain! <laughs> I would ask the witness to take the oath on the Bible. I promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. You are Roger Bibby. No. Ah. That proves nothing. No further questions, Your Honor. Ah. Your Highness, my client, Mr. Candela, would like to say a few words. Yes, uh, thank you, Your Honors. Ladies and gentlemen, I is not a fancy lawyer. I is not a judge. Okay, that's me done. <laughs> this type of anaerobic fungus is rarely seen in its natural environment. Once you've seen the fungus, return to your desk and draw a picture of it. Oh, I said draw Patel, not trace. It don't mean nothing. He's my boyfriend. Oh, you read it, did you? No, it might have meant, oh, you read it, did you? That was Kish's card, you nosy bitch. <clears throat> Watch this. <laughs> Hello? Is it me, or did it just get uglier in here? <laughs> A million pounds damages just because she can't read? Does no one take responsibility for themselves anymore? Iqbal has good news and bad news. Bad news is we has lose the case and pay a squillion squid to some bint and shut down the school. Oh, no. Good news is Iqbal ain't gonna take that shit from no one. Iqbal is going to fight. Yeah. 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 This school has been pushed around too long. I is take this case to the House of Lords. Yeah. And when they is tell me to fuck off, I is going to Brussels. Yeah. Iqbal is never going to give in while he has breath in his body. Who is with me? I said, who is with me? On second thought, I can't be bothered. It will be really difficult. School is closed forever. A headmaster. Mr. Bibb, the dream is over. I hear the call of the minicab. Knowing me, I suspect I have a plan. Hmm. Ah, yes. I do indeed. Well, babies, look like you won fair and square. Will you take a check? 
Ah, uh, Mr. Bib, what could we do with a million pounds, isn't it? We could keep the school open. Oh, it's always the bloody school with you. Try and thinking about us for a change. Aha, right on cue. Mrs. Rice Davis, meet Mr. Johanna. He is suing you for one million pounds. Get out! We are waiting for Mr. Bib's plan. If you'll indulge me, Headmaster. On what possible grounds could he do that? On the grounds that Mrs. Rice Davis has caused the school to be closed and therefore denied Mr. Johanna's son his right to be educated. Huh? You are? With the money being returned to the school as a charitable donation. Ooh. I work on a no-win, no-fee basis. My fee is one million pounds. I suggest Mrs Rice Davis should sue you for malpractice. Oh, she'd win that. Eh? But now, of course, the school will have to close and Mr Johanna won't take that lying down. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Mr Bib, I think this is good time to use your plan. Goodness me, everyone. Look over there. Huh? If you think that car from Davis is for you, you better prove it, bitch. Hmm. Davis? Oh, Davis? Keisha wants you to put her out of her misery. Tell her you're going out with me. <laughs> <laughs> you? Why would I go out with a geek like you? But what about this Valentine's card? That's for her. <gasps> hmm. Davis loves Keisha! You a lucky bitch, Keisha. I can't believe it. I am happy. You like it, then? I love it. That's good news. Oi, to Sean. She likes the card. Mm. What? Huh? I hope you two is very happy. <coughs> but we saw you post the card. He can't reach the post box because he's stumpy. He was kind enough to present my letter of love, much in the manner of Serrano de Bergerac when he used Christian to court Roxanne. I knew my passion and wit would win, fair maid. I'm just not very tall. Will someone get this thing off me? I hate Valentine's Day. It always ends with depression. And violence. <laughs> and pregnancy. But no one got pregnant. You don't mind me being ugly? No. I just learned to appreciate looks is not important. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm.